Welcome back to another Get Ready With Me. I don't have time to film anything else today, so... <laughs> Today's look is just trying to show that I'm very cute and very fun and be my friend because I'm meeting someone new today and I'm also meeting some people that I met before that I really like and I think are great and I would like them to continue to be my friends. And I just found out that I'm also going to be hanging out with Marwa today, so I'm super excited about that. This is my face without any makeup and I cleaned my face because I was sweaty and gross. I took off my glasses and I'm wearing my contacts so you can see the beautiful little little nibs of yes secretly during the week I am a glasses wearer but during the weekends sometimes not today we're going to start our get ready with me with I need to just tweeze some stray hairs from around my eyebrows it's weird these are my eyebrows this is not their natural shape I go to a salon get them did the good thing about glasses is that you don't know and you can't tell really that my eyebrows look like terrible cesspools of unneatness I'm not trying to reshape them I'm just trying to just give them a little cleanse this is not that interesting and I should be moving my eyebrows as I do this but like you could see like down here there are some obvious stray hairs great YouTube content I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers I have been blessed and cursed with thick eyebrows. Thick with two C's. So the blessing is that they can be any shape I want them to. The curse is they grow back. Also, for everyone who makes fun of me for borrowing my sister's stuff, these are my tweezers, so just saying. Also, this shirt is mine, so just saying. <laughs> The trick is, isn't to look perfect. The trick is to look okay. Lower your standards and then everything will be fine. Last time I did my eyebrows was on the 31st of March. And I know this for a fact because I was like, I need to do them before Vida. Now I'm going to move on to my face. I am just going to be putting on BB cream and I'm going to be using this brush, Real Techniques brush, same as last time. I'm just gonna wet the brush and I'll be back because we, as we've learned last time, this is apparently helpful. Today I'm using the Tea Tree Flawless BB cream for blemished skin skin because my skin looks okay but there are some tiny bumps that you might not be able to see picked up on camera and then I really don't appreciate this redness which usually goes after a while but like I'm gonna leave like now so please no my color is in 02 there's like three colors of like white less white and then dark not even dark it's not it's just darker it's like guys there are other skin colors in the world but okay you just put it on your face don't forget your little glasses nibs. This doesn't give 100% coverage, but I don't really want or need that. I just want it to be like, listen, my skin is better than it- Not my skin is better than it looks, my skin is worse than it looks. <laughs> like, it could get worse, guys. That's the look I'm going for. Don't forget your forehead, which is something that I always do. And you see, even the glasses nibs aren't completely gone, but they're just reduced, diminished. And you can see here, it's like a few minor imperfections. Next, we're going to do our eyeliner area and we're going to do the almost exact same thing as last time. I'm going to take some brown eyeshadow and put it in my eyeball eyelid area. And I'm using the Wet n Wild I'm Getting Sunburned palette, which is quite gross because I've had it for 5 million years. I haven't actually had it for 5 million years because that would be unhygienic. <laughs> It'll be fossilized if it was for 5 million years. But anyway, I'm using this brush, which is my sister's, so that's one thing. Okay, and we try. It's difficult to do this with one hand. There I am, you should study. I have all the exams in the world coming up. That's not true. I have so many exams coming up. So the trick is, you hold your eyeball down. Why do I keep saying eyeball? You hold your eyelid down and you follow your eyelash area. The good thing about powder is that it all, it's powdery. So like, it's kind of just fixes itself. Life hacks. How's that? Well, I mean, it could have been more uneven. <laughs> if anyone wants to give me a makeup tutorial, I would gladly accept. Listen, I'm not perfect. That's all I want everyone to know. That's what the look is saying. I'm not perfect. I'm human. I'm relatable. Be my friend. Okay, that's did. Next, we're going to be using some mascara. This is my sister's because... We're sisters, guys, it's fine. Same as last time, the high impact false lash effect of mascara. You put this on your eyelashes, for anyone who did not know. You can just blink your way through it. But I don't want to put too much. There's a scene in Memoirs of a Geisha where the geisha is walking down the street and her eyes are looking down and then she looks up at this man and he is so overtaken by his beauty that I think he trips and falls or something. And like, I just want, I just, I was just reminded of that right now. <laughs> Next, we are going for some lip gloss today and I'm going to be wearing the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Lip Gloss in the shade Plums Up. And listen, this is the actual name 
of the lip gloss, so no one say anything, okay? It's quite good, it uh, feels kind of tingly on your lips, makes you look nice. I bought it because it's cruelty free, uh, it works pretty well, and that's it. With this one, you don't have to be careful. It's a similar color to your, li to your lips, it does not need to sink in, it's a very relaxed thing, and then also, if it fades away, that's fine. This is that type of lipstick, that type of lip product. If it fades, it's okay. So this look just says, I am cute, I'm pretty, be my friend, please. <laughs> the thing is that when you look boring during the entire week and you look the exact same every single day and you're not wearing any makeup and you're wearing your glasses and you feel the in the weekends it's really nice to have something different and something just a little more fun. So I'm just going to change my job and I'll be right back. This is the hashtag finished look. I feel like I'm going to my first day of school. But the yellow says, I'm confident, I'm fun, I'm quirky, be my friend. But the shoes are comfortable and nice and I feel like they look pretty cool because there's lines on them. The hijab says, I'm also pretty. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to go and become a meme. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace out. Bye.